Hi, I'm Morris Klein. I'm an attorney and I practice in Bethesda, Maryland. I'm here to talk about Social Security basics. What is Social Security? Social Security, or called Old Age Survivors and Disability Insurance, or OASDI, is a cluster of federal programs providing benefits for workers when they retire or have a disability and for workers' dependents and survivors. Social Security offers four programs, retirement benefits for the worker, disability benefits for the worker, dependent benefits when the worker retires or becomes disabled him or herself, and survivor's benefits when the worker dies. Social Security programs are entitlements, meaning that anyone who meets the eligibility rules is entitled to receive benefits. They are not welfare and are not based on me, on need. Even wealthy people are eligible. The Federal Social Security Administration administers the programs. In general, the benefits are based on a worker's work history, that is, his or her average earnings from work covered by Social Security. The work history is based only on earned income. It is not based on unearned income. Triggering events are required, that is, the worker's retirement, disability, or death. Social Security is intended to replace some part of normal income when it stops or shrinks due to the triggering events. Originally, when enacted in 1935, Social Security was only an old age pension program for workers. Others were added later. Spouses and children were added in 1939, the disabled in 1956. Current workers provide the money to pay benefits. Payment is made into the system through FICA, Federal Insurance Contributions Act, or SECA, the Self-Employment Contributions Act. Taxes paid by the worker and employer on a Social Security taxable wage base. A separate payment is made for Medicare. I'm now going to talk about requirements common to all four Social Security programs. The worker must have worked in what's called covered employment. Persons employed by a non-government employer have been covered since the beginning. Self-employed have been covered since 1951. Household workers since 1951 as well. Farm workers since 1954. Active military since 1957. Inactive since 1988. New federal employees got to be covered since 1984 although they had the option of remaining in the old program for those who were working prior to 1984. Workers for nonprofits, including religious organizations, also joined in 1984. State and local employees not otherwise covered joined in 1991. Note that a person who does not qualify for Social Security will also not qualify for Medicare and will have to buy in under the separate Medicare rules. The worker must have earned sufficient work credits to gain, to gain insured status, that is, to be eligible. Up to four work credits can be earned in one year, depending on the amount earned. All four annual credits can be earned in one quarter. The number of work credit requirements to gain insured status varies according to the particular type of Social Security benefits sought and the applicant's age at the time of claim. Benefits are based on the average of yearly reported earnings in covered employment. Since 1951, caps have limited the annual earnings counted, thereby reducing the benefits for high income earners and helping the system stay solvent. Only the best, that is the highest, 35 years on the earnings record are used to calculate benefits. Those are usually the most recent years. Benefit formulas also vary according to the particular Social Security program and the applicant's age at time of his or her claim. Benefit amounts are adjusted each year for inflation. Benefits may, but not always, be subject to income tax. Benefits are not subject to garnishment except by IRS or assignment, whether payable or already paid, unless it was put into a joint account or commingled with other funds. In the event that there is a wrongful payment, Social Security will attempt to recover payments wrongfully made. Social Security may waive recovery of such overpayments if the claimant was without fault and recovery would cause an undue hardship or 
be against equity and good conscience, or the recovery would be so small it would not be worth the effort. Social Security may negotiate a repayment schedule through a reduction of periodic benefits. Workers can request a copy of their Social Security statement through different means, directly online at www.ssa.gov, using a form SSA 7004, which is a request for Social Security statement, which can be downloaded, calling the main Social Security number at 800-772-1213, or by mail. In most cases, there is a limitations period of three years, three months, and 15 days after the year of earnings to make corrections on the earnings record. So it's important to keep track of what your earnings are to make sure Social Security has it right. Social Security reports that employers make reporting mistakes 4% of the time and that $1 out of $100 is not credited correctly. Social Security will deal only with the beneficiary, that is the person who is entitled to receive the payment, or his or her, quote, representative payee, unquote. It's important to know that Social Security will not deal with an agent under a durable power of attorney or a court-appointed guardian or conservator. To become a representative payee, must, one must apply for representative payee at a local Social Security office and fill in the appropriate form. The applicant must show the beneficiary is unable to manage benefits or is a minor. All the Social Security funds must be used for the beneficiary by the representative payee. The representative payee, payee cannot commingle Social Security money with any other funds. The representative payee also must file an annual accounting, and that can be done online. There is an appeal process. There are different levels of appeal. There has to be a request in writing within 60 days from the date of notification of a problem. And then there are four levels after that, including reconsideration, hearing by an administrative law judge, appeals before SSA, and then finally going into federal court. Here is a resource for trying to find out more about Social Security. You can go to their website, www.ssa.gov. You can telephone. 800-772-1213, and there's a separate number for the uh, hearing impaired. And then there's a publication offered by Social Security called Understanding Social Security. Thank you.